Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting into another episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. Now in the last episode, we did get introduced to a few new characters, mainly Junpei and Nanami. And we did see Yuji go on like a mission with Nanami to the theater so they could investigate the murders of those high school kids. And then they ended up fighting some curses, which actually turned out to be those kids from the theater. Um, but by the end of the episode, we see Nanami send Yuji on this like fake mission to go follow Junpei so he can go confront Mahito on his own one on one, you know. Um, so I think we're both excited to get into this episode so we can really see what Mahito and Nanami can do because they they seem like pretty powerful characters in the show. So that being said, I think we're ready to get into the episode. Thank you guys for joining us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Is it supposed to be like a scary movie? I think so. So he does have friends? I guess so. It looks like he almost has like an, a little occult club too. Hmm. Oh. What? He's wrecking his shit? So this is before the movie theater, I guess? I think so. He's gonna fight this guy? He should. Let's go. Oh. oh. They left him there. Are you kidding me? Where are the teachers? Damn, so this is a recurring thing, them beating his ass. Yeah, these guys are jerks. <laughs> Dang, that's a little harsh. Hmm. There is something back there, I knew it. What is it? How large? He can make a single human. Oh, that's a person? Oh my gosh. He's like, I get it. Yeah, he's like, they're pretty terrible. Oh, oh, like from the movie, the shape of one's body is the shape of one's soul or something. Oh, the movie in the theater? Yeah, so he's saying he like touches their soul. Hmm. So he sees their souls as he sees their bodies? Mm-hmm. So he's kind of indifferent? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Still training? Oh god! Tuna tuna! <laughs> oh, I, they still don't know he's alive, right? Right, yeah. Oh, So cute! Super low level. Oh, they're gonna attack him? Mmm. Please save him. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
okay. Oh. Okay. <笑>ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。
off with his pants. Oh, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, I thought he needed to ask him questions. <laughs> right? He's like, what was that all about? <laughs> oh. oh, nice. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that was more fun. But you hate that guy, don't you? Oh, he noticed he was about to do something. He's like so taken aback. He's like, man, this guy's cool. He gets it. Just came out of nowhere, too. I know. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Oh, damn! Oh my god! Every time he cuts him, he forms back together. So it seems like he has a bunch of little humans on him. Yeah, he said he keeps a bunch of humans but on what, him. What happens if he runs out, you know? Oh. Oh, they're still conscious? Oh, he has to kill them. Oh, so they're not, they're not fully alive? Oh, why is he? No! no! What? Wait. Oh. <laughs> That's raw. No, not me. Don't. Ooh, oh no. Let's just leave and go get Gojo. Cuz he can't be touched. So ah. He can take on different characteristics of different things. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Oh no, it's about to be six. <laughs> He's like, I'll come back tomorrow. He wasn't even... Oh. What? Don't Overtime. in, don't in, don't in. No! no! I knew it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I want to watch Overtime. Are you kidding me? I I'm assuming he's about to take the wrap off the his weapon, right? Because he hasn't maybe. done that yet. Now he's gonna get serious. Dang, he wasn't serious already. Right. <laughs> he did mention at one point that Gojo was probably the perfect person to go up, up against uh, Mahito. Because yes, because he can't, he can't be, be touched. touched. Mm-hmm. And I would like to see that fight just because both of them are kind of shit talkers. Yeah. Gojo and uh, Mahito. <laughs> yes, honestly, I would love to see what Gojo would say. But to be fair, Nanami had some great one-liners in this episode too. Like, I don't really care. I'm getting off at six o'clock. I've like, actually really come around to Nanami. I really like him. Yeah, same. I find myself agreeing with what he says. He just says it so dryly sometimes that he kind of comes off as a dick, like when you first are around him. But I actually like him and I find myself agreeing with him on a lot of the things he says. Yeah. Now this is the part of the episode where usually we would watch the preview for uh, the next episode coming up, but we actually aren't going to be doing that anymore just for Jujutsu Kaisen at least. Um, I think it makes more sense to watch the previews when we're watching a show week to week, uh, you know, with everybody else. Like uh, Demon Slayer we watch week to week, Attack on Titan we watch week to week. Um, right now we're in the middle of watching Spy Family week to week, so when we're all in the same episode together I think it makes sense to watch the previews, but a show like this where the season's already out and we're the ones catching up, I don't think it makes makes much sense to uh, keep watching the preview. So we're actually going to stop doing that, although you don't really need to watch the preview to, to kind of know what we're getting into in the next episode. Round two. Yeah, it, it, well, it kind of seems like... Overtime, yeah, like sorry. Overtime, right? Overtime. Like part two to this episode, we're probably going to get um, Yuji talking to Junpei a little bit. Um, I think we've mentioned before, it looks like Junpei is going to be a good guy. He's in the, the, the intro, opening, the yeah. intro, the anime opening. So 
it seems like he's gonna be a sorcerer and, and eventually be a good guy. And I think, honestly, I think Yuji's like a really nice guy. And I think most people, even people who don't want to like him, like Fushiguro and stuff, they always, you know, they end up liking him because, you know, He's kind of like that Naruto character, you know, like he's a yeah. good guy. He's endearing, but kind of annoying. But kind of annoying <laughs> and you and you love to love him, yeah. you know? Um, so I really think Junpei, like for once in his life, he's actually gonna have- A real like, friend. A real friend, but one that would actually back him up mm -hmm. too, you know, like Yuji wouldn't let anything happen to his friends and he would definitely, you know, fight. Die, die for them, literally ha has already done that. Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So. Honestly, I'm really excited to see their conversation too. I want them to be friends. I think we'll also be getting part two of the fight that's obviously. starting in this one, obviously. Um, it looks like Nanami's really not messing around anymore. He's kind of powered up. He's he even mad took now. his tie off and like wrapped it around his hand. I don't know what that was for. Like maybe he's gonna hit him so hard he needed like some padding or something. Yeah. Um, but I, I definitely think we'll see him unsheathed. Kind of reminded me of like, like brass knuckles, but not. Yeah, yeah. kind of. I definitely think we'll see him take his weapon and unwrap it mm, um, and that's, really see what he can do uh, next episode. Maybe he'll put the other wrap on the other hand too. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, the white and black one. Um, and that brings me to another thing I think I saw someone comment before is it seems that, that Gojo really picked, like handpicked Nanami to kind of uh, train Yuji a little bit because they both have a similar fighting style. Like they both have to get up close to use their ability, their power. Yeah. And it seems like Nanami already caught on to like how much potential Yuji has. So I'm really hyped to see. I, I hope he doesn't die in this fight. I don't think he will. Um, I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't. Cause he's been a pretty cool character so far. I, I would really hate if he's only in like a little part of the season. Yeah. And then I really... dies or something. Cause I want to see him train Yuji more. Yeah, I think he would be like a good teacher for Yuji as well. Just because, you know, he can teach him how to be a little bit more serious, not, put too much emotion into the fight because sometimes that can get you distracted, you know? Because like the moment Yuji found out that those curses were the kids from the theater, you know, he kind of got a little sad and got down. So I don't know, I really would like to see more of Nanami for sure, but I'm hoping if something happens, maybe Gojo will come and save him. Cause he did say right before the fight, like, oh man, my abilities are not the best matchup for this guy. Mm -hmm. Like it would be Gojo, you know? But to be fair, I think Gojo's a good matchup with anybody because you can't touch him. Yeah. <laughs> Too OP. <laughs> now, I definitely think that Yuji is going to be the one to kind of put Junpei on the path to becoming a Jujutsu Sorcerer, obviously. Mm. Um, because we kind of already got uh, little bits and pieces of what Junpei thinks. Like kind of his philosophy towards life, right? Yeah. It seems like he's been kicked around a lot and he's very... He says indifferent, but he seems very bitter. And I think him meeting Yuji, and we already kind of know what Yuji's about and what he's like. Um, even when, like you're right, when he saw those those kids in the theater and, and realized he had to, to kill them, he was upset about it. And mm -hmm. even when Junpei tells him, I'm sure he's gonna tell him like, don't feel bad about them. Like they were bullies to me, they, they were pieces of shit. Yuji's gonna be like, well, that, that's not really on me to decide. Like, I, I'm just about saving people because that's the right thing to do. Yeah, because I, somebody l might have loved them. Yeah, so you know? I think, like, you never know what they're dealing with, too. Not that what they did was right at all. Right. Um, but it, it, I think him meeting Yuji and just getting a different outlook on life is going to sort of change him. That's true, because, like, who is Junpei really talking to? Um, the shitty kids that left him in the room, uh, the bullies, or Mahito? Yeah, I really honestly feel like he needs um, a fresh set of eyes on life, right? Mm -hmm. So he can get a different outlook because yeah, it's stepping inside Jupe's mind is very bleak. All right, guys, this was an awesome episode and we can't wait to get into the next one so we can see round two of the Nanami versus Mahito fight. So if you want to catch that with us, make sure you like this video and subscribe so you can stay notified on all of our videos. Follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. And real quick, we did want to make a shout out to our newest Patreon supporters, 
Kathleen, Marcus, Ling, and Rambo. You guys are the greatest along with all of our other supporters. Now real quick guys, we did want to let everyone know that the voting is done for our bonus movie reaction on our Patreon and the winner is Raiders of the Lost Ark. We're really excited to get into this movie because we haven't seen it and this movie will be exclusively on our Patreon for one month. So if you'd like to support the channel, get an extra movie reaction and vote on our next movie, we'll leave a link for the Patreon down below. But as always, you guys are the greatest and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.